Welcome back to the Texas Baseball Ranch and another edition of True Stories from the Ranch. We get emails and, uh, and messages uh, quite often from, from uh, our athletes that are training here at the ranch or in the Durathrow program. And they, and they express frustration at their training. They're not gaining the velo they would like or they're not, they're not getting the command they would like or uh, there's a difficult situation with their coach and their team. And uh, it's very common because it's, it's human. There are a lot of uh, challenges always. And even if there's not a challenge at this level, there's gonna be a challenge at the next level. And so what I'm gonna use as my backdrop today is wrestler Dustin Carter who uh, was uh, born without arms and legs and yet wrestled, uh, and not, not a matter, matter of fact, wrestled so well, he went on to wrestle in college. And so you see here the referee holding up his arms, and if you know anything about wrestling, that means that the, the young man won the match and uh, went, uh, Dustin uh, had a, a good high school career and went on to wrestle in college. And what my point that, that I want to make to, to the young people who are struggling or finding or, or discouraged or are disheartened um, by, by some obstacles or challenges along their way, I want, to, I want to make this as a backdrop to kind of give you some perspective. And that is that, uh, as we've said many times before, is that never confuse impossible from what is extremely challenging or difficult. So you might see someone with no arms and no legs and go, it's impossible to wrestle. Well, obviously not. The other message is this, never let what you can't do or what you don't have, you don't currently have, interfere with what you do have and what you can do. Um, because those two things, what you do have and what you can do, um, are always enough uh, you just got to trust in that. And so Dustin Carter is never going to have arms and legs. It, uh, naturally, he, he may have some from science uh, eventually, but he's not going to have them naturally. He's not going to grow in, uh, two arms and two healthy legs. It's not going to happen. So he's got to figure out how to do this with what he has and what he can do. And so a lot of you are, are sometimes frustrated or disheartened or discouraged by situations that are coming up or, or, or you don't have enough enough time, you don't have the right space, you don't have the right equipment, um, or you, you, things are not happening as fast as you would like, I'd like to remind you of this story, is that, is that you need to think from a broader perspective. And I think this is important as you go through, and the final question I would have for you today is this, would you rather have the obstacle that's in front of you right now, or would you rather try to wrestle with no arms and no legs. I think it'd be pretty clear which one you would take, is that that obstacle is an extremely difficult uh, hill and mountain to climb, and I think it'll make yours a little bit more, um, a, a little bit more something you can deal with as you go forward. So I want you to remind, I want you to remind you of that, keep perspective as you go forward, keep the faith, and, and really keep remembering that, um, What's some uh, just be, uh, things uh, never confuse impossible for what is extremely difficult, and never let what you can't do or what you don't have interfere with what you do have and what you can do. Until I see you again on, uh, on a, a future um, uh, story from the ranch, keep getting after it, and uh, and uh, we'll see you again soon.